Hello, hello, good evening, and welcome back to my channel. How have you been? It has been a hot couple of weeks burning. Trust me. I went out a couple times, and I'm like thinking, this is this is terrible. It was so hot. I, I all I wanted to do was drink. I was drinking every minute, every hour, every day. That's all I did. All right. So I was trying very, very hard to stay hydrated, and I, I, can't, I think I managed it for most of the days. So yeah, I'm talking about the weather. The weather is just been kicking me down. But I got some books, and I want to do a quick, a quick um viewing of all the books. Uh, show off, showing off all the books I got. Some I got from the publishers. Some I picked up from the Dollar Tree. A couple I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I got one from um, Book Mooch and so forth. So let's get into this. This one came to me from Ache Books, and it's trailed by Catherine Miles. It's one woman's quest to solve the Shannon Door murders. Alrighty. So it's not a really big book. So as soon as I put it in a challenge, I'll post these. As soon as I've read them, I post these on my Instagram, which I'm picking up back, re uh, posting books on more regular again, because, you know, everything was just falling by the wayside as with me. But I'm back up on my Instagram posting the books after I've read them. And um, yeah, this one is straight. So I'll write the review and you can look at watch see it on Instagram as I said. Alright. I'll leave my Instagram handle down the bottom. If you're not following me, you can come over and follow me. I have a nice little following over there. I post my books and sometimes I get some free items that I also post on there too. But for the most part it's mostly books. This one is also from Ache Books. And as you can see, it's from Mr. James Patterson writing with Brian Sitz. And it's the shadow thriller. Uh, it's, it's the first time in print, so I don't know when this came out first. But you know, there are no a number of his books are now coming out in paperback. So this is first time in paperback. Uh, it's it says print, so that does not mean print or paperback or hardback. Oh, okay, and it's um circle of death. Um, it's the shadow versus the end of the world. Nothing more, nothing less. A circle of death. Alrighty. And this other one is from Ache also. It's from Denise Mina. The second murderer. Alrighty. It's a Philip Marlowe novel. And uh, as a Philip Marlowe, finally met his match all right this is a detective series all righty so the second murderer got the all of these from Ache. thank you Ache. always thinking of me thank you all right <clears throat> this one this is a uh, arc and it is coming out october the 10th and it's the defector by chris atfield atfield uh he's the best selling author of an uh, oh of an astronaut's guide to life on earth <laughs> you, i guess it only takes the astronaut to tell you about life on earth i guess i don't know Alrighty. so that's the defector uh, and it's more holland books <clears throat> this one is The Distant Sun by Tim Johnston. Dazzling and intricate haunting novel. Uh, Descend Distant Sun is a mystery about a serial killer. Yes, but it's also not that at all. It's a heartbreaking story about family, failure, and the fallout from violence. That's Distant Sun by Tim Johnston. And this one comes to us from, I think this is, uh, 
Why can't I see the name of the publisher? My goodness. National backlist promotional national dot 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 dot. All right. I'll get the name of the publisher when I post it up on my my Instagram. Come and check me out on Instagram because I post all the books I post on Instagram. I post them only after I've read them. These I post them before I put them into a, a reader turn or anything like that. But everything else on Instagram, I post them after I've read them. So my re review is is honest and and true because I have read the book. I don't just post it because somebody gave it to me. All right. Yeah, I went on my little tangent. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, yeah. I went to the Dollar Tree and I saw this book. And I was like, oh. I remember the days when I used to just eat up romance books. Just eat up romance books. I just loved a romance book. And Johanna Lindsay used to be one of my favorite author when I used to read a lot of romance books. And so I was went down memory lane. I was like, oh, I'm going to get this Joanna Lindsay. Because I haven't been um, looking out for romance books because I haven't been reading them as much. I, I think I've read maybe four this year. That's romance book for me. Anyway, so I am running again as usual. A real moment. Taking a real moment here. I went to the store and I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm going down memory lane. So let me just pick up, let me just pick up, a, um, pick it up because I, and I might just put it into a reader then. I think I have a couple of slots on my, my, my year long reading that calls for a romance book. So yeah, I'll, I'll see what this is about. Um, basically it's a young lady who wants to return home to America so she disguised herself as a boy and is working on a ship to um fair, because that's the way it's cheaper to get a, to back to America if you don't have the money you sign on as a cabin boy back in the day and um but she didn't realize that the captain would have her working in his quarters so closely with him so yeah that's Gentle Road, alrighty, by Joanna Lindsay. And I picked this up purely for the name, A Town Called Malice. <laughs> because I'm expecting some murder and killings and stuff in this. I think this is a dark noir. I am thinking that it is. It's by Adam Abranovich. And uh, um, it's about... Let me see, money and runaways. One man, not everybody is happy with the changes. Boston, it takes place in Boston. And um, this is when, apparently when a lot of changes was occurring and a lot of people was losing their job and stuff like that. All right, so a town called Malice. Those are the two I picked up this week from um, the Dollar Tree because I really like like the some of these. There are quite a few others, but I've picked up most of those already. Uh, I have picked up most of those from there. But so if you want to pick up a couple of books, check, check out the Dollar Tree. It will, you know, you find some good deal. You find some good book, and you might find some gems from some authors you have never heard heard about before. And when you pick up the book and read it, you're like, wow, this is really good. So check them out. Um. This one came to me from Bookmooch. Bookmooch is the swap site where you can swap books with your friend. Uh, basically, you post the books that you want to give away, and the, the, the other person will also post their books. But you don't have to take a book to get, give somebody a book, or somebody don't have to give you a book so you can give a book. But you do get points for each book you post. So the more points you have, the more books you can mooch. Alright, so that's book mooch. I'll put the link down the bottom. Hopefully I can remember I'll put the link down the bottom and you can check out book mooch. Uh you know, you just you most books cost you basically one point and you if somebody sees a book that they like they'll give you a point for that book and you mail the book off to them. It's really a swap site, so you are responsible for mailing the book to them. I found this one on there. This is The Witcher. And um, the last witch. This is 
the the last wish sorry this is i think i'm not sure this is the first book or not i've read the comics but i didn't have the actual print book and when the show came out the price of them skyrocketed but somebody had it on book much and they just gave it i just requested it and he sent it to me really really fast uh, some people send books really really fast some people take a longer time understand so check out book mooch you can pick up quite a few books just po post at least 10 books and you will get a, a one point so you can go you can go book book requesting <laughs> i would say shopping because you go throw it in your cart and take it on but it's book requesting and the person will say yes they will send the book to you all righty all right then i went to goodwill goodwill I do walk in there from time to time. I'll find a couple of deals and stuff like that and books that I want to read. Um, I haven't found anything. And I've found quite a few. I haven't found anything earth shaking for a while. So, But anyway, I went in for a walk and I found The Infinite, which is the second book in the Fifth Wave series. The Fifth Wave was a TV a movie. A movie not a tv movie it was a big screen movie it came out in the movie theater and everything it's not on tv no it's been out for years this is the second book in the series um i don't know i don't think they make if they were gonna make another movie they would have made it already so i'm going to read i read the first book already so i'm going to read the second book in the series the infinite by rick yancey Oh, and, oh, and I didn't remember to say, this was about an alien invasion, and um, the adults were either murdered, massacred, or um, sent to concentration camp, so they left all the kids by themselves in this sci-fi book, and the kids, um, they were trying to indoctrinate the kids, sending them out to kill each other. And so forth if you don't want to read the book you can check out the movie it's really pretty good I like the movie and one of my favorite actresses in it yes I'm rumbling on about this book Chloe, Chloe Grace Moritz is in it I really like everything that she's in all right yes this was my good pickup really really good pickup this week at the Goodwill um, run Rose run by mr. James Patterson and miss Dolly miss I want to say mistress Dolly Parton all right so it's a novel it's been uh, uh, literally everywhere uh, you can t go and go on any um, site and don't see uh, this book being talked about and everything so i finally got myself a copy at the goodwill and it's in pretty good condition see no scratches no tears no mark no nick everything it's in really really good condition and so I picked it up at my Goodwill, so you can check out your Goodwill. You might find some really good buys, you know, for for you that you can start reading a series. Because I like to go into the Goodwill also because series tend to accumulate in there. Like, um, that's a book from Reacher. I found quite a few books from the Reacher series in the, in the, in the Goodwill. And the Nora and the Nora Roberts series, J, written on the J.D. Rob series, are a lot of Nora Roberts book always in there. So yeah, I've seen a resurgence in people reading her books also. So you can check out the Goodwill for her. A lot of her books are in there. The Awakening, what, and quite a few of them is in there. All right, be well, be blessed. And thank you for watching my video. Stay cool, stay hydrated. Uh, if you don't have to go out on the road, <laughs> don't go out <laughs> in this heat. I don't know what's gonna happen next week. I think they said rain. I'm not sure. It might be 90 degrees there. I, I saw the, the 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 weather forecast for the entire week. I mean, my weather person mode. I've had the weather forecast for the last week, and then all I saw was 90s. So stay warm. Stay, not warm. No, stay cool. Stay hydrated. Well, God bless you. Tell somebody you love them. Alrighty.